morning, everybody. Well, all the rain is gone. And now, it's cold again. Let me look to see exactly what the temperature is. I guess it could be colder. It ain't nothing like what they're getting up there in Canada. It is out here. It is 43 degrees. I'm fixing to walk up on a pipeline. I put a rain gauge up yesterday to see before it started raining. Let's go see how much rain we got yesterday. After the big front came through, I looked at it and there was an inch in there. And I left it in there because I wanted to see what the total amount was. Let's walk up here and see. I got my hoodie on this morning. Got a little tree that fell. I'm gonna have to get it down. Let's see. We got two and a quarter inches of rain. That ain't bad. Give me a little rain gauge. Two and a quarter inches. I got it. I got it put on a post right dead center of the pipeline so it'd be accurate. Two and a quarter inches. So I shouldn't have to worry about the water raising up just that little bit. Ah, oh, the driveway drained good. Yeah, with that, just that little bit, I ain't gonna have to worry about the water coming up. Today's laundry day. Going to the other house. I ain't even attempted to do laundry out of here. I ain't got that far yet. <laughs> but uh, we can check on the potatoes and the carrots and the cucumbers. I did get that planted over there before I come out here. And they're growing good. So we'll check on them today. So uh, we'll see y'all whenever we get over yonder. Well, I made it over here, getting laundry done. I want to show you my uh, my potatoes I got growing. See if I can get them in a shot. Here, I'll just turn you around so I can show you. Look at them potatoes. I managed to uh, plant them before I left, before I went to the land. I got these planted. I got these planted. Oh, that's, I got some more and down here at the end, that's actually a kiwi vine. It actually survived the winter in the shed. And these right here are purple potatoes. I thought I waited too long to plant them. I cut them up on, in eyes. I cut the eyes up. I cut them up and uh, was letting them heal over. And I almost forgot about them, and they actually started molding a little bit. Well, I went ahead and stuck them in the ground, and they're coming up. Those are purple potatoes. And these right here, these are my cucumbers. These are, I planted cucumbers in this last year, and they did great. They filled up this whole side of the uh, my fencing I got up here. So uh, we'll have to see how they do. My garlic is going crazy. It's growing good. And the whole row of garlic is doing awesome. Plus, I put onions. And look at that. I got an onion right there. I ain't never grew onions before. So we'll just have to see how they do. 
but the garlic's doing good. Right over here, I got carrots in here. I grew some carrots last year. My, they were too compact. I never did thin them out. Once these come up a little bit, I'm going to thin them out. And I'm giving them compost tea once a week. That's my compost tea. I'm going to stir it up real good before I leave and give them a dose today. Well, I'll see y'all back out the land. Hey, everybody. I made it back to the land. Got all my clothes washed. Ah, it takes forever to wash clothes. Got a whole bunch of stuff loaded up. <clears throat> Extra stuff that I that I still had in the shed at the other house. Got it loaded up and got down here. I'm going to have to build me a shed pretty soon. Uh, I want to show y'all. This weather's crazy. Before the storm, the night that I thought the storm was supposed to hit, the low was 68 degrees. When the storm hit, the temperature started dropping. Right now, right now, outside, this is Sunday. The storm hit Saturday. This is Sunday, and my temperature gauge is reading right at 50 degrees. It feels like 40. It's just crazy, y'all. I, I was actually going to bring all my little baby plants that are growing in the other house under the lights in the in the kitchen. And they doing good. They look pretty. They ready to go on the ground. And I was actually going to bring them out here today. That's what the plans were. But good Lord, the temperature's steadily dropping. And I don't have heat in the camper right now, so the camper's the same temperature as outside. So I wasn't even going to chance it. I wasn't even going to chance bringing them down here. But uh, I want to show you all what I got done yesterday. I'm going to flip you around. See that right there? That is the old AC unit. The AC and the heater unit that was in the kitchen of the camper. Well, I got it disassembled and got it out of there because I ain't. I know I ain't going to be using that. So that that gave a lot of extra room. Plus, I, uh, I took that hot water heater out. It's a brand new hot water heater, but it runs on 120. And I ain't going to be using that. And I don't have water in there. <laughs> but uh, I, I took it, I, I disconnected it. <clears throat> I had some, I had a piece of scrap plywood and some leftover pieces of two before, and I made me a desk right in front of the big window. And uh, I'm going to show that to you. I got all my cords out because, oh yeah, I got me a little charging station too. I have realized that uh, just about everything I have uh, charges by USB. Well, there's my desk. The kitchen looks a lot different than it did before, didn't it? I made me a little desk. I got my cooler over there and my chair. And it's right in front of the window. So when I'm sitting at the computer, I'm looking out this big old window. Awesome view. And the charging station I was telling you about, it's a black web. It's a black web charging station. And it has six USB ports on it. And I actually had the generator cranked up running that. And I got my little surge protector right there charging everything up usually during the week i'll uh i actually plug everything into my service truck when i'm running during the week and every day i grab my two lights that are my just in case you know the and i'm still having trouble with that charge controller i'm gonna have to look into that it it don't act like it's charging my batteries all the way but it that charge controller wasn't actually made for the two six volt batteries I have. I'm probably going to end up looking and getting me a, a charge controller made specifically for six volt batteries because I think it's confused. It's given an E11 and an E11 is just low voltage and I think it's I actually think it's reading voltage off of one battery, but 
I don't know. I'm going to look into that. But anyway, I was just going to show y'all what I got done here. I'm fishing to cook me something to eat. And I think I got enough daylight. I'm going to get out there and try to clean up some of that trash. I ain't had time to clean up any of the sticks and limbs around the around the camper. But uh, I'm going to fix me something to eat, relax a little bit, and then I should have a little bit of daylight left to, to see if I can get something cleaned up. But uh, if everything goes right, I'll see y'all tomorrow.